Hey, 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 all you absolutely beautiful folks out there. Happy first day of school. You kids, you teenagers, and you parents, you college kids, you grandmas, you grandpas. I know that most of you guys are actively engaged in what's going on with your kids. So you're going to get the whole gamma of experiences. Some thought it was great. Some thought it was so-so, and some thought it was freaking horrible today, okay? So the way we respond to our young people really does give them the lessons and the support that they really need. You know, uh, math and science and social studies and English and all that stuff, it's really important, right? Because we need to learn that stuff. But a lot of times, we miss an opportunity to talk to our kids about how they really felt about how they um, went throughout their day to ask them, did you notice if anybody was alone today? Did you notice if there was anybody at lunch eating all by themselves? How did that make you feel? You know, especially when your kids are popular, we tend to forget to ask them that right? Because they're the ones coming home saying, oh my God, it was so awesome. Everybody on my crew was there. But we fail sometimes to talk to them, even the popular ones, about how they felt, about the security or the insecurity that they experienced, and then also to constantly remind them that there are people all around them that could use them. You know, as we go into this school year, it's really important to also teach our kids about the fact that it's okay to be unique. You know, my daughter's okay with me posting this, but I can tell you she has purple hair. She not only has purple hair, but she wears them in cute little um, balls on the top of her head, primarily because she doesn't like the hassle of constantly having to get sew-ins and constantly having to get tracks and braids. and It's just a lot of hassle. You black girls out there, I know you understand the hassle. So she chooses uh, to, to just keep her hair natural. And well, I mean, natural as far as not perming it, not putting all the extra stuff in it. She's definitely got the purple in there. Um, she caught quite a bit of flack today. Um, and, you know, something so simple as just being yourself, um, it's a very bold move, but it does put you on the outskirts of the norm. And so just being able to talk to her about her choices, you know, does she want to go ahead and just make her hair look like everyone else so she can fit right in? Or does she want to continue to stand out because she likes the way that her hair looks? Um, you know, just so interesting to, to, to have those conversations. And I want to encourage you not to miss those conversations here in the next couple weeks. Ball games are going to start in. We're going to get into the humdrum of the year, right? Just trying to get our kids to do their stinking homework and getting them to go to school. And the hassle of, not hassle, it is kind of a hassle of getting them to and from school, right? Um, let us not forget the most important lessons, and that's teaching people how to love. That's teaching our kids how to uh, be a light in a sometimes dark school year. So remember, the lessons you teach your kids about how they treat other people, about how they feel, about how they treat themselves, they are just as important, if not more important, than grades. Don't forget that as this year gets going. And all you teenagers, I want to encourage you to stand up, stand out, break the social norms. Don't just do something because you fit in. Get out there, live deep, rich, whole lives, and don't forget to look around for other people who could use your love. Rock out the rest of your school year, y'all. Happy first day, what, what? Mwah. Word. <laughs>